ಲಭ್ಯ ಯಾವತ್ ಇಂದು ಸರೋವರಂ ತಮ್ ದೇವ ನಿರ್ಮಿತ ದೇಶ ಹಿಂದೂಸ್ತಾನ ಪ್ರಚಕ್ಷತೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ದ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಮ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಾನ್ಸಿಸ್ ಟು ದ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾನಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೂರಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಅಫ್ ನೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ನೂನ್ ಟು ದ ಎಕ್ಸಿಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೆಡಿಬಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇದಿಕಾ ಪಾಥರ್ಕರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಚೂಸನ್ ಟು ವ್ಯಾಮನೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆನ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ದ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಲೈಫ್ ಲೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಸಸ್ಟೈನಬಲ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ Lend me a year as India turns 77 and today we are also a proud nation due to the development. Today we have come a long way as a civilization. From Rig Veda and Sam Veda to the critical theories of sciences. From building Pushpak Viman 4000 years ago to building Mirage and Tejas today. From worshipping Moon and Mars to today going to Moon and Mars through Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan. Today when I look at this topic I see three aspects. First, what is sustainable future for India? Second, what is the role of science in it? And third, how can we connect both of these together to produce unique and advanced India? First of all, how familiar are we with the word science? The science is the study of physical world and natural laws. But from the agriculture to the communication, from the communication to the health care, from the health care to the transportation and from the transportation to the construction and lastly from the construction to all over the world, the science is alive. Not only this, but also in the computers, satellites, x-rays, photographies, plastic surgeries, everywhere in each and every field, the science is incorporating. In our Indian ancient Vedas, it is also said that ಸರ್ವಸ್ಯ ಲೋಚನಂ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಎಸ್ತಸ್ಯವಸ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀಶಿಯಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ದ ಡೆಸಿಮಲ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದ ಸೈಂಟಿಫಿಕ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇನಿ ಥೇರೀಸ್ ಮೆಟಾಫಿಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇನಿ ಮೋರ್ from the moment we wake up we get surrounded by the inventions and discoveries which makes our life more comfortable whether it is alarm clock or the electricity in our house or the cell phone which we use for communications or the transportation system or the medical science which provides various vaccines and life saving surgeries or the food we eat that all are the products of scientific advancement and by this i can say that the science is not only confined till the laboratories and classroom but science is integrated in everyone's life i remember india's missile man apj abdul kalam once said that learning gives you creativity creativity leads to thinking thinking provides you knowledge but knowledge along with the use of science in daily life will make us great In this era rapid changes due to the artificial intelligence automation machine learning internet of things biometric virtual agents are happening for all this technological advancement the science is mandatory individuals can unlock their full potential and thrive in an ever evolving world our bright india also need the support of this science and we the youths are perfect resource for it then and only then ultimate unique reach and advance india will generate but as the coin has two sides there are also some disadvantages of this advanced science for example the pollution joblessness due to artificial intelligence terrorism and many more things but we the indians will of course overcome all these problems the science of today is technology of tomorrow so indian let let's come together use science wisely at last I would like to say the shloka and it goes like Uddhamena hi siddhyanti karyani na manor thai hi na hi subthasya simvasya pravishanti mukhe mrugaha It means that achieving any task like applying this advanced science or using this advanced science in India requires diligent efforts not only solely contemplations and by applying or using this advanced science in our India we will produce our India as a superpower as a vishwaguru in front of this brahmanda thank you jai tu bharatam jai tu vidyanam